Hello everyone, it's Carly and welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. I had a lot of requests on my Instagram to do like a gift guide for you guys as Vlogmas and I really do love that idea. Um, but I also thought I would just combine it with another video that I really love to do each year which is my winter cozy favorites for you guys. So I wanted to do that and all of these things in this video would be amazing stocking stuffers. So you kind of get best of both worlds, you get to see all of my favorites but things that I would love to receive in my stocking this year. Hint, hint, Sebastian, because some of these products are gonna need a refill. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy. You can also send this video out to anyone that's shopping for you that may need a little bit of help coming up with ideas for your stocking. So without further ado, let's hop into it. Don't forget to subscribe and give the video a huge thumbs up if you enjoy. So let's jump on in. So I have a few categories in front of me here and I'm gonna try to keep it at like a five word minimum because I know I can get a little bit rambly, but we have some beauty things, some of my favorite Christmassy things, which it wouldn't be a winter cozy favorites without some of those things. And then like activity, media type things, and then fashion. So we'll dive into the beauty. I only have one thing, um, cause I have talked about a lot of beauty this vlogmas, but I wanted to highlight a red lip. A red lip is such a staple for the holidays and it's such a fun way to dress up your outfit, whether that's Christmas dinner or a work party. It's just a fun way to make you feel a little bit more festive. And I actually love this one. This is Maybelline Superstay. This is their matte ink in the shade heroin and I love this shade. And this is what I have on my lips today and it stays really well. Um, I don't even have to line my lips when I wear this personally and I just find that it stays when I eat something, when I drink anything, doesn't move. It's a nice red because I don't really love like a blue red. I really like that orangey bright red, especially for the holidays. And it's super affordable and it's fun to stick into a stocking or gift as a secret Santa. Staying within the beauty skincare realm, I thought I would talk about body care. Body care is so important in the winter. We get dry and irritated irritated and so I love to incorporate really hydrating products into my life especially when I'm getting a little bit fancy for any sort of party or get together um, so I always want to feel very silky smooth and I take pride into my skin I feel like I have very smooth skin so these are my go-to products all year round but especially in the winter they come in handy a lot so my first thing this is the eco tools this is just a little dry brush I've talked about dry brushing before and it's so great for for circulation in your body, for draining out your lymph nodes, for exfoliating your skin, making it all nice and smooth. I love it. I do it every time I get into the shower and it just makes me feel so smooth and so much better. I love this. And to pair that off, I love to exfoliate in the shower, as you guys know. I talked about this before, but I couldn't not include it. So this is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish and in macadamia nut and rice milk. These two things I think would make such a cute like secret Santa gift. And as just a third little gift, cause I love to give gifts in threes, I thought that I would include my new Whey body and hair oil. I specifically love it for my body. It's a nice, easy rose scent. So if you're nervous about gifting um, something to someone that has a strong scent, you don't have to worry with this because it's very mild and subtle, um, but it just feels so great on the skin. So after you've exfoliated, uh, you can put this on and you just feel so silky and smooth. And I just think this pairs so nicely as a cute little gift for the busy mom in your life or the best friend that loves to pamper herself. Um, so these are some of my favorite products that I think that you guys would really love if you were gifted them as well. Moving right into some cozy Christmassy things. I thought I would show what I love to put into Sebastian's stocking specifically. I love doing his stocking. It's one of my favorite parts of Christmas. I think I love the stocking more than the actual presents because you get to put little things in there that like make you think of him and just not of Sebastian, you guys are not buying for him, <laughs> but make me think of him and they're just fun little things. Um, and they're like a couple bucks, they're always really fun. They're my favorite part of Christmas. So when it comes to stockings, candy is like a must. If there's no candy in your stocking, you're doing it wrong. Two of my favorite chocolates to put in Sebastian stockings are the Reese's Miniature. For some reason, when they put these ones out in the, oh, I just, I may have opened them. <laughs> But when the stores put these out in the Christmas colors, I swear they taste so much better. And this could be controversial, but I like these more than the Reese's Christmas trees. I just think it's the perfect amount of that chocolate and peanut butter in a nice little miniature thing. You can eat like five of these at a time and you're not overwhelmed. Um, so I love to throw these into his stockings. And then alongside that, I love these cute little Hershey's milk chocolate Santas. 
I love these and the Hershey's chocolate is always really good. I know people like to do the marshmallow chocolates, but I am just old school, love to give him a nice little chocolate Santa and I think they're just so cute at the bottom of his stocking. So those are two of my favorite chocolates. Moving on to like the atmosphere of Christmas, you know I was gonna talk about some candles. I refrained myself from buying all of the candles that are my favorite and I just picked two of my absolute favorites. These have been my favorites for years and years. The first one is the hot cocoa and cream candle. It has a really pretty design this year of like a ski lodge. You can see down below it's the cute hot chocolate and this smells so nice. It's not the scent for everyone. I remember when I used to live with my mom, she never liked the smell of this but I am obsessed with it. It just makes your house feel so warm and so cozy. I'm not much of a sweet candle person, but this is the perfect amount of sweet. I wonder if you would like it, Sebastian. <laughs> you like it? It's like eggnog. Oh my gosh. Is that good? No, eggnog isn't good. Oh. Doesn't it smell so sweet? It smells, it's a good amount of sweet. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Take it from me. It's one of my favorite candles. Let me know below what your favorite Bath & Body Works candle is because this has to be my top one. The runner up for one of my favorite candles at Bath & Body Works is the flannel candle. Um, this is kind of like a nice fall to winter transition candle, but I still love it. I love this all year round. If my house could smell like anything, it would be flannel year round. I love that nice, like it literally just smells like a fresh cleaned man and, or woman if you like woodsy smells. Um, it just smells so fresh and so clean and so I always have to pick this up every year. It's one of my favorites and honestly if I got this as a cute secret Santa gift, I'd be a happy gal. So those are my two favorite candles from Bath & Body Works. Now we're gonna move on to like Christmas movies and I had to highlight one of my favorite books that I've been reading this winter. Just to breeze through the movies, I know that you guys have already seen these, but I really wanted to include them because they're some of my favorite traditions. I love watching The Grinch, that's such a classic. I love the Jim Carrey one, that's the only one that I like and the only one I will ever like. We saw the new one that was last year that came out didn't live up to the standards. So Grinch is always on the list. I love Home Alone. You can't go wrong with Home Alone or Home Alone 2. The third one, by that point I'm over it. So those are my two favorite Christmas movies. I did just watch The Holiday. All of my friends at work told me to watch it and I absolutely loved it. It took me so long to watch that movie, but I'm so in love with it. It's so cute, it's so cozy. It just makes me feel so great. There's nothing like having a Christmas movie on, having some chocolate, chilling on your couch, it's the way to go. Like I said, I wanted to highlight a book I've been reading. I haven't finished the book because I've literally been reading it <laughs> throughout this fall and winter season. It's taken me a really long time. I've made excuses on why I haven't read this. I've been going to bed without reading, but when I do have the chance to read this, I fall in love with this book even more with each chapter. This is, this is how it always is and I love this book. So it's about a story of a family and it's through the parents' eyes of watching their youngest little boy transition from a boy to a little girl. And it's such a beautiful story of like parenthood and love, highlighting a story that I think is not highlighted enough. And so it's, it's such a sweet read and I find myself like holding on to little nuggets because you never know what life is gonna bring to you. So it's just a great reminder that everyone is here for a reason and we all just need to treat each other with love and kindness and it's such a beautiful book. So I've been enjoying it a lot. So I wanted to highlight it because I think it would be great for any readers in your life. I love getting books for Christmas particularly, so um, this is such a great one and easy to get your hands on, so I thought I would highlight it for you. My final category that I have for you guys is fashion. I thought I would talk about some of my favorite pieces that I've been wearing this winter. Um, you will see some familiar faces from some of these clothing items, but the first one that I wanted to highlight were just Christmas pajamas. I love these ones. I got these a couple years ago at Target and they still remain some of my favorite. I always pick up a new pair every every single year. I love getting me and Sebastian Christmas pajamas. I feel like I've tried the Christmas pajamas with him. He's always a good sport, always puts them on. But now I'm just trying to find like cute sweats for him and then me, I can still have cute little Christmas pajamas. So um, yeah, these are some of my favorite. Target has great ones. Um, I've seen great ones at Old Navy. I'll link some of my favorite down below for you guys. There's still time to grab some and they're an absolute must. Moving from like loungewear pajamas to appropriate 
clothing to wear outside, hopefully. Anything Sherpa is definitely me the last two winters. I know it's been a hot topic everywhere, and so I wanted to highlight my new little sweater. This is so cute and cozy, and when I put it on, it honestly felt like butter. I'm a little nervous to wash this because every time I wash something like this, it never comes out the same. So I'm just holding off <laughs> washing it, but this is from Target. It's so cute. I love like the three tones. It has nice like big bellowy sleeves, which just like you can roll up your hands and just cuddle in and I wear this to work. I, oh my god, I just like attacked, I literally just like attacked myself. I wear this to work, I wear this to the grocery store. I love this so much. It's nice to have something in your wardrobe that you can just like easily throw on, whether that's like running to in-laws throughout the day. Um, I know not everyone like gets fancy for Christmas, so if you're someone that doesn't get fancy for Christmas like me, like we just chill at my house, I'll be wearing this. Sticking with like pajama loungewear, I wanted to highlight just a cozy robe because I thought it was such a great idea. I mean, this is kind of big for a stocking, but I got this for my birthday a couple of years ago from Sebastian and I love it. I asked for another robe again this year because you can never have too many. And I love like waking up in the morning, putting on a robe, coming downstairs, like when it's colder, it's nice to just wrap yourself up in something cozy. Um, so yeah, this is one of my favorite robes because it's nice and fluffy. I have all different kinds of robes, but only one fluffy one. So I asked for another one, so take it from me. This is a great gift to have. If I don't open one on Christmas, I'm gonna be pissed. So those are some of my absolute favorites for this time of year. Hopefully this helped you come up with some great ideas to give for coworkers, sisters, moms, whoever in your life that you would think would enjoy this. Again, share this out. They're great ideas, easy to find. I tried to keep things pretty affordable for you guys. That is always my channel, nice, affordable, but still like fun and festive products that I use all the time and I think that you guys would really enjoy. So let me know your thoughts down below. I will see you guys tomorrow, bye.